Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, December the 8th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, YouTube is about to launch, apparently, a paid subscription music service. The music streaming service would debut in March of 2018 and there's very little details coming out of what it will actually be like. But it is interesting to see that they are trying to get into the bandwagon of streaming music services. Well, the PlayStation 4 has reached a milestone, 70 million units sold, and it's soon to beat the all-time record set by the PlayStation 3. So this is good news for Sony. Two million PlayStation VR headsets also have been sold, which is also very nice. And in total, 617.8 million games have been sold since the PlayStation 4 started to be sold. Kind of interesting. And uh, shows how people are really uh, buying a lot of PlayStations. Uh, if you want to compare it with the Xbox, uh, many analysts were saying, well, you know, it's pretty much a two for one lately. And even though the Xbox One X has actually ramped up the sales of Xbox, it will probably never reach the sales of the PlayStation 4. Well, once again, images are showing up on the internet of a foldable, foldable device. Now, most analysts are now just saying not phone, but foldable device. So some kind of phablet, tablet that has a very unique, in the latest um, images, it seems that it has a very unique camera with it that uh, when it is folded can actually be um, changing the field of view. Kind of interesting. Uh, and, you know, these rumors keep popping up from time to time. We don't really know if, you know, that's going to happen or not. With Microsoft, a lot of things that might happen are often scrapped and don't happen. So it's going to be interesting to see. Microsoft Edge is the number three communications app in the Google Play Store. And um, it has been downloaded more than a million times. That would be kind of interesting to see that Microsoft Edge would actually be more popular on Android than on PCs. If you have problems with the Windows 10 Insider Previews not installing, you're not alone. Microsoft has said yes, a lot of people are unable to install the latest builds, uh, ranging from 17.025 all the way up to 17.046. And they're saying, well, be patient, and when the next build rolls, you'll be able to try to install that one, and it might actually have a fix for it. A company that wants us to leave our ID cards at home. It says we have tons of ID cards, uh, you know, driver's license, all sorts of cards that um, different uh, organizations want us to have. Well, it says we got our phones with us all the time. Why don't we have a digital form of these? And they are pushing governments and businesses to actually issue digital versions of these ID cards that would be as valid as the card itself. A um, Samsung has actually a patent that is actually for smart clothes. And one of the unique functionalities of that smart clothes is that it will recharge your phone by using the energy that is created by your body and by the movements of your body. And uh, apparently, it seems to work well in the tests that they've done. So uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll wear a t-shirt that will charge my phone. A um, security uh, research is going on and saying that uh, as we fill our homes with tons of devices that can spy on us, what real proof do we have that companies behind them aren't spying on us? They say, well, you know, it's nice to say that, oh no, we promise we don't spy. But the company says there are so many reasons for actually spying on everybody and companies would have good reasons to do so. And they say that it's kind of interesting to see how people buy these devices and don't really think much more about what they are and what they do in your privacy of your own home. Well, yesterday was a uh, protest day for net neutrality across the United States. Thousands of people have protested, um, a lot of them in front of Verizon stores, but all over the United States. And they say that there were a lot of people protesting yesterday to, of course, save net neutrality. 
and uh, more protests are on the way. If you want to join the fight, well, why not, um, you know, check out where the protests will be next and join in to save the internet. Well, a report from a, a security company is actually stating that um, even though, you know, there were a lot of bad things happening this year and a lot of it happening because companies are far behind in security updates, it seems that with Windows 7, uh, cumulative updates, the new way of delivering on Windows 7 these updates is making it worse and uh, the majority of companies have a lot of difficulty actually keeping up with the updates. And they say that, imagine if that's happening with Windows 7, how it's going to happen with Windows 10. A new version of Chrome is available. Version 63 was released yesterday. It has some enforced security and a few more little things to talk about. If you are wondering what's in there, I will post a review uh, coming up today, a little later today. Uh, so you'll see um, the new version and we'll talk about what's new in there. And finally, DeepMind AI, which is the famous uh, artificial intelligence computer that, of course, beat uh, the best chess players around the world, has been programmed to start from scratch. So it didn't know anything about chess. And they just programmed it to learn how to play the game to see how long will it take for it to actually be a good chess player. Well, apparently, it took four hours, and it became the ultimate chess champion. You know, it's kind of cool when you think about it, but at the same time, I kind of find that scary, because it just shows you the power behind artificial intelligence, and we're really just at the beginning of all of that. And this was the Tech News Update for Friday, December 8th, 2017. You enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.